We are underway for Formula 3 in Belgium with a good start for Zendeli, who covers off Paul Chair as Sargent tries to improve up to third position, but it's Smolly with the inside line, so it's as you were for the top three. And off the road there, Richard for sure will try and rejoin. Will he lose any momentum? Will he lose any positions? It was pretty well behaved in the first part of the lap. Now up the hill through a rouge with Liam Lawson to the inside of Oscar Piastri. Still Zendeli with the lead, though. That's his priority. Are they all going to make it through the tight confines of Eau Rouge and Radion? I think they have done now. Who can make a move on the Kemal straight? It's the two ARTs. Look like they're going to go side by side. Smollier on the inside. Can he make the move? No, he can't. And so we look further down the field. A perfect getaway for Larim Zendeli. Hernandez was off the road on the exit of one. And there you see the contact had already happened. There goes the front wing for Andres Esner. And this is going to be where the tyre carcass goes. Go. There's so many cars and it's so competitive. But here we see Enzo Fittipaldi also with a problem. And now as we go through onto the Camel Straight, there's a lot of momentum for David Beckman. And Beckman is already past. So the Trident's having a great amount of speed here. Up to fourth place goes David Beckman. We've got another car off, this time the Campos of Alessio De Leda and the Italian driver looks like he's beached it. Might be time for a safety car, he's lost it all on his own. Trying to close down the MP Motorsport car ahead. But Richard for sure is closer and closer and closer now <laughs> through Blanchemont. For sure, saw that one coming, defends the inside line wow. and Piastri Around says... You know what? Fine, you put the car there. I'll go the long way round and take the position anyway. Cheers, Beckman. At it again, trying to reclaim the position. This time he's got DRS. This time he's got third place before they even get to the braking zone. He's having to break the toe, but he's got that position. Multiple battles going on, but this is so important with the two championship contenders. Piastri trying to go around the outside, and they have collided, wheel banging. <laughs> and they're both off the road. They're both not lifting. They're both determined to stay ahead. But it's Oscar Piastri who moves up to sixth position. Will Race well, what, Control be looking at this one, though? What Liam did was break absolutely as late as he can physically break. Well, there you go, there's the place being given back. And Oscar Piastri has decided to think of the championship and he's given the position back to Liam Lawson. So race control may well have been on the radio. This time with DRS, it's not going to be anywhere near as close. But that could be very important for the Australian Drivers' Championship. Vessi's trying to follow Lawson through. Oh, there's a lock-up to make it rather hairy at the top of the hill. I have a big engine problem. Yeah, I thought we could hear, I thought we could hear an issue there when he was coming through the flat speed because he was right underneath Smodier in the battle for fourth place. The two championship contenders and Piastri is able to get through by the time they get to Eau Rouge and the second place driver in the championship moves into a position to take him to first and it's Piastri in fifth, Sargent now in sixth after a problem. And he's already been passed by one teammate, it's going to be a second one now for Logan Sargent who is losing more points in the championship battle and he just has to try and get to the finish ahead of Liam Lawson who is really struggling with the tyres so much so that we've got Caldwell breezing past and taking eighth place. This time at Spa, no one is going to deny Larim Zendeli who can weave across the line as a Formula 3 winner for the first time. A superb performance to beat Teo Pulcher and his teammate David Beckman. They're the top three today. If you want the race, yes! Gande, Gande! Wow! Zendeli, another new winner. He is the ninth of the season to take the chequered flag first. And Teo Pulcher with another podium in a strong rookie campaign. Beckman made up a couple of places to stand on the podium. Then it was Smolia. Piastri taking the championship lead with that fifth place ahead of Vesti. It's Larim Zendeli on top as our ninth different winner of the season. We have another race to come tomorrow. Hope you can join us when Formula 3 returns.